This is a concise video for beginners on the uses and purposes of using Nmap, and it's aimed at complete beginners. Nmap is an abbreviation for Network Mapper and can be considered as being one of the best known and useful scanning tools you will ever use. You've got to learn Nmap if you want to work in cybersecurity as a practitioner. If you are serious about pen testing, ethical hacking, and IT security in general, then learning Nmap is essential. So what can Nmap do? Nmap is also particularly useful at being able to discover the operating system and which ports are open on targeted machines. In addition, Nmap is excellent at allowing the ethical hacker to search for unauthorized servers or network services. An example of a professional pen tester using Nmap would be to find computers that don't meet the organization's minimum level of security. Nmap is also able to detect the vulnerability and security holes of machines using Nmap scripts that are pulled from the Nmap scripting engine, the NSE. Here are some very simple ways you'll be able to use Nmap. If you want to scan a single system, then you can use a simple command, Nmap target.com, or by IP address. If you want to scan the entire subnet, then the command would be nmap target forward slash CIDR. To scan multiple targets, then the command would be separated by spaces. So, for example, nmap target, target1, target2, etc. Let's now quickly review some popular scanning techniques. TCP SIN scan. This is a basic scan, also called half open scanning because this technique allows Nmap to get information from the remote host without the complete TCP handshake process. Nmap sends SIN packets to the destination, but it does not create any sessions. As a result, the target computer can't create any log of the interaction, because no session was initiated, therefore making this feature an advantage of the TCP SIN scan. TCP Connect Scan This is the default scanning technique. Unlike the TCP SIN scan mentioned before, this scan completes the normal TCP three-way handshake process and requires the system to call connect, which is part of the operating process. Keep in mind that this technique is only applicable to find out the TCP ports, not the UDP ports. UDP scan. As the name suggests, this technique is used to find an open UDP port of the target machine. It does not require any SIN packet to be sent because it is targeting the UDP ports. But we can make the scanning more effective by using TAC small s capital S along with TAC SU. UDP scans the UDP packets to the target machine and waits for a response. If an error message arrives saying the ICMP is unreachable, then it means the port is closed. But if it gets an appropriate response, then it means the port is open. Fin scan. Sometimes, a normal TCP SIN scan is not the best solution because of a firewall. IDS and IPS scans might be deployed on the target machine, but a firewall will usually block the SIN packets. A FIN scan sends the packet set with a FIN flag, so it is not required to complete the TCP handshaking. Ping scan. A ping scan is unlike any other scanning techniques because it is only used to find out whether the host is alive or not it is not used to discover open ports. Version detection. This is the technique that is used to find out what software version is running on the target computer and on respective ports. It is unlike the other scanning techniques mentioned in this video because it is not used to detect open ports. Instead, it detects the information from open ports to detect the software version. Idle scan. This is considered as being an advanced scan because it provides complete anonymity while scanning. In idle scan mode, Nmap doesn't send the packets from your real IP address. Instead, it uses another host from the target network to send the packets. There are many other scanning techniques, such as FTP bounce, fragmentation scan, IP protocol scan, and so on. We hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure and visit us at concise-courses.com for more hacking tools information and resources.